Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and I'm live out here at the Grace Chapel Prayer uh, Mountain. <clears throat> and I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, the room. So I'm up here, and let's just take a look. I'll explain a little bit more, but let's see if this thing will work. Hopefully you guys can can uh, see live. So let me flip this around, and uh, I'm going to show you the place. So here we are. I don't know how much you'll be able to see because it's dark here already. But... Um, Here's the place they gave me. Um, in the daytime, you'll be able to see tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you guys. There's a picnic area over there, but this is a little um, cubicle home that possibly someone donated. They have trailers. They have even uh, holes dug into the mountain where they've encased them with, uh, with uh, blocks, cinder blocks, and you can also... Uh, use those but hold on let me get the let's see where's the light so we prayed and here's my room for the week there's a bible i got pens uh five notepads as you can see the book is going to be called waiting i'm up here to finish a book that the lord had put on my heart years ago um, as soon as I got out of prison, um, shortly after, the Lord was really speaking to me, and I started to write uh, a book, a story of my life, uh, up until uh, Christ. And uh, the Lord had put it on my heart, and I wrote the prologue and part of chapter one, and then I stopped. And that was about nine years ago. And then the last year when we were up in Montana, the Lord spoke through a prophetic woman and uh the Lord said that I needed to write the book, but then, you know, life gets going and whatnot, and I didn't make the time, and then uh, we were in Indonesia, and Pastor Addy <clears throat> had asked me to write my testimony, and I was sitting down at the dinner table, at his dinner table, at his kitchen table, and he says, Scott, the Lord told me you need to write the book, and he said he will help me with that as far as publishing and whatnot in Indonesian and English and such. And then last week, I believe it was, was at the Rock Conference and I had to go to school and I left Diana there so she can uh, glean from the Lord and hear the word. And I was uh, watching the live version, uh, of the live broadcast, kind of letting it play in the car while I was driving to school. And uh, the preacher, Pastor Ty at the Rock, said that he had a stirring in his spirit <clears throat> And that uh, the Lord was telling him that he had a word for someone. And he looked at the camera and said, uh, the Lord says to write that book. So I pulled over and I wept. And I said, all right, Lord, I'll, I'll do it. And then uh, school was supposed to start this week. I wanted to go as soon as possible. But we had school scheduled for this week. And then got a text message this morning that the doctor that was going to teach the class was sick. And uh, class was postponed till May. We have another one starting in March. So that opened up this time, and I said, yep, that's exactly what I need to do. Get up to Prayer Mountain and start to uh, write this book. Or, re you know, just finish it up, or at least see how far I can get. So the title of the book is going to be called Waiting. And then um, I already wrote the prologue in Chapter 1, part of it. Hello, Mama. So this will be the... I'll uh, use these pens and write in here. And I got five notepad, five, five, five notepads and 24 pens, my Bible and my light. And here's a little desk I was able to pull from another room and put it right here. So uh, we'll just go to town. Here's my little room. <clears throat> I'm going to bring the heater in because it is about 40 something degrees up here, 45, 46. And we got some bare essentials, waters, and some uh, cuties, and coffee, and some whatnot. But basically, um, on vegetables and rice uh, for the next week. And uh, beans and rice in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. So I'm up here to write this book. Um, don't know if I'll be able to get it all finished, but Pastor Addy wants it done by uh, Easter. And that's a few months away from now. So yeah, we prayed and the Lord gave me this whole place. I have it all to myself. It's a, it's like a mobile home. And uh, I think, I believe people have bought these or donated them or whatever. And they just leave them pretty bare. 
and you just come up to pray. And then there is three prayer services every day, one at 6, one at 11 a.m. Um, that's 6 a.m., and then 11 a.m., and then one at 8 p.m. And there's about 20 minutes of worship just with uh, music on a like a boom box, a little stereo, and they have the lyrics up on the screen. Hello, everybody. Hi, honey. And 20 minutes of worship at the service. You might have saw just a little bit of the prayer I posted just a little while ago. And then 40 minutes of the word. And then right after that, they turn the lights down to, to dim, like more of a dim, dimmed uh, situation. And then everybody starts praying. And the pastor goes around and lays hands on people. And everybody prays in the Holy Ghost or cries out. And um, yeah, that's how it rolls. But yeah, it's nice. Um, it's a bare essentials. This... There is a shower here, but there's no heater. We're in the mountains in uh, Corona. They do have a bathroom and a sink. Praise God. Some of these trailers don't even have that. Me and Diana stayed up here uh, together uh, before. And uh, I'm trying to find the light for you guys here. All right, there we go. <clears throat> and we stayed in just a little trailer, and there was nothing. There was no bed, nothing. We slept on the floor on some mats. Well, this one is actually really nice. She, uh, the Lord hooked me up. So I have uh, three three bedrooms here, which I don't need. I'm going to stay in this other room like I showed you guys. Got a bathroom, no heat, but I know how to deal with that being a missionary. You just uh, go in slow and uh, wet yourself down. And then once your body gets accustomed to it, then you can uh, do the rest of it. It's uh, not fun, but it does work, and you can get it done. So I'm going to pull this heater into the room that I'm staying at. Um, no stove or nothing. Little sink. Got a fridge. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, so we're up here. I'm up here at Corona Prayer Mountain. My wife is at home. And I believe I had to go out this alone because I need to really focus. So tomorrow I'll actually start writing. I have my composition books right there. And um, move, feed around. I am. So that's the room. Got my little my pillow travels. Found those on sale today. And um, we'll see how they work. Got my sleeping bag right here. And uh, yeah, good to go. Pastor Scott here at Corona at the Grace Chapel, Grace Chapel Prayer Mountain. And I'm going to get started on the book again. The book uh, title is called Waiting, and it's going to be a story of my life. It uh, starts all the way back, um, not working, starts all the way back in um, elementary school. And then we'll go through the story up into where I found Christ Amen. So mom says it's not working. I got five of you on here. It looks like it's working on my end. So I'm going to stop this. We don't, like I said, I don't know how much connectivity I have out here. Um, little to none. So there it is, a little tour if it works. I'm going to stop this. Love you guys. Take care. Pastor Scott, check it out. I will be up here all week. See how much of this writing I can get done. And uh, we'll go from there. If you need anything at all, give us a call at one eight five five seventy jesus um, If you need help or you need prayer or you need to get plugged into anything, uh, the ministry team is available. Um, I will check messages periodically as I can. That's what's up, brother. Yep, praying. Mama says she's praying. Yep, so yeah, uh, going to get it done by Easter. Uh, per the Lord's request through Pastor Eddie. And then I don't know how long it'll take to publish it and... Uh, edit and all that fun stuff, but uh, just pray for me. Pray because um, I'm not scared by any means. I'm not afraid of much of anything anymore, but it is, it's going to be hard because I'm going to go back to my past, all the way back, <laughs> and um, and just visit some of the, the, the good times and bad times, and it's going to be a roller coaster ride, and I'm going to lay it out on paper for you guys, and um yeah, so keep me in prayer. And I need to be uh, filled with the Holy Ghost and the words need to be His. But they also need to be truthful and to the point and straight to the chase as I as I am. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. Alrighty. 
I'll keep you posted. And uh, if you are fortunate, I might just post the prologue or chapter one I have before. Some of you guys have already read it years ago when this was first uh, put on my heart. And um, you, you were pretty stoked. So anyway, I'm just rambling on here. I love you guys. Um, pray, pray, pray. All righty. If you need anything at all, reach out at one eight five five seventy jesus The team's always there for you. You can reach Joni or Jeff, or you can leave me a message and I'll check it when I can. All righty. Take care.